Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Christy Van with Fantastic Finances and on this channel I teach Velocity Banking. Today we're going to be talking about people who charge things onto credit cards or get high interest personal loans to maybe start a business. So I'm dealing with a man, we will call him Sam, and he has recently started a cell phone shop. So to purchase some things that he needed for the shop, he got into two high interest personal loans. We're going to be dealing with those today and we're going to show him how he can get out of those pretty quickly. A lot of people get stressed out when they get into debt over business. They think they're in over their heads and there's no way out. It's a real concern when we get ourselves into the high interest personal loans. They steal our wealth. He has personal loans that are at 11 and 12 percent. He also has some credit cards. But Sam has been working to eliminate his debt. So when I first started working with Sam, all he had was an $8,000 HELOC. So let's just see how long it took him to get to the end of the personal loans and the credit cards that he had piled up the business debt upon. Sam's income is $5,400 a month. His expenses were at $4,400 a month. That includes his living expenses, food, gas, utilities, but it also included his mortgage payment and all of these debts that you see listed here. So that left him with a cash flow of $1,000 per month. Now remember, I said he had an $8,000 HELOC that was available. So what did we do with the HELOC? Well, we first started by paying off these credit cards. Now, there are credit card debt strategies that I have under my playlist that would have worked had he just applied those strategies to these cards and went ahead and started with the personal loan. He could have paid that off. He could have been working on the credit card strategies at the same time, and he probably could have moved a little bit faster than we did in this scenario. But even with using the HELOC to pay off the cards, he still made good time on paying off his business debt. So he had a total of $4,400 due on three separate cards that we put into this $8,000 HELOC. We paid them off. So in month one, we just took $4,400 of his income and put back into the line. Now remember, with a HELOC or a PLOC, you can pay all of your expenses with those lines of credit, unlike with a credit card. So he is able to pull all of his expenses back out of this HELOC to pay them as needed, and he can put all of his income in. But due to he just had the 4,400 charged and we didn't go ahead and add any of the loan amounts in, we just had him pay that off the first month to make him feel good. He paid off three cards in the first month and he had $1,000 left over. So we added in his living expenses and his debt payments, and now his debt payments are only at $2,614 because he paid off $417 in payments over here. That $417 is now cash flow that's going to help work this credit card debt back down. So with his debt payments being at $2,614 and his living expenses at $1,369, that brought his balance back up to $3,983. Of course, we had to have some interest in there, and it is at 11%. So I took the 11% off of this $3,983. Would the interest really have been figured at the $3,983 balance? Probably not they average the balance, right? So for the average daily balance, they would have taken the 39.83, the zero that he had after paying off the debt, and the 4,400, they would have averaged that out. So $37 in interest is probably a little bit high, but I always like to leave room for error in case I've messed up somewhere else. That would bring his total back up to $4,020, but we're going to put $3,000 of the personal loan number one and move it into the HELOC. So now that means he only owes 4212 on this loan and the 3000 is in the HELOC. I hope that makes sense. Bringing his balance back up to $7,020. Month two, his income goes in again. Now what happens to the HELOC amount due every month? Remember, every line of credit has an amount due, right? And a due date, but I'm not showing it on here. Why am I doing that? When you move your income into the line of credit, you have satisfied that monthly payment. So I don't care if it's $10 or in this case, if it's $3,000. He satisfied that payment when he moved his income into the line. Bringing his balance down to $1,620, we have to pay our expenses again, right? So $39.83 in expenses comes back out with $65 in interest. 
that I took off of the 7,020. Again, it will not be that high due to the bank's charge interest on the average daily balance. His balance will be back up to $5,668, but in month three, here goes his income in again, bringing him down to $268. We're going to go ahead and bring his expenses in at $3,811. How come the expenses came down in this month? Because this payment was satisfied when we did the $3,000 chunk, right? Well, look here, we're going to do another $3,500 chunk onto this personal loan meaning that his balance now is only $712. See how quickly we're paying off that personal loan just by using a line of credit? After the $3,500 is paid onto the personal loan number one, his balance is back up to $7,579. Of course, we have to add some more interest in here, so I took that off of the high of the $7,579 at 11%. It's $70, which brings his balance back up to $7,649. In month four, that income is going to go in again, bringing his balance down to $2,249. His expenses and his interest will come back out again bringing him back up to $6,130. Month five, we're gonna do it again. Income goes in, bringing his balance down to $730. We're now going to pay off the $712 balance left on personal loan number one, meaning that personal loan number one is completely paid off. Now he can move on to personal loan number two. The $712 added in brings him up to $1,442. His expenses at $7,811 is going to come out again throughout the month. And then $57 in interest has been charged on this month, bringing him to a balance of $5,310. In month six, his income is going to go in, bringing him to a zero balance. So in six months, he paid off $4,400 in credit cards and $7,212 on a personal loan. Now, when you have been using a line of credit for a while, like he has now at six months, he was able to go back and get an increase in his line of credit. So he had it increased to $15,000, which he probably could have done more, but they offered that without doing an appraisal on his home and he took it. So in month six, he's paid off this balance. So he's going to add $10,000 of loan number two into this HELOC, bringing him to a balance on personal loan number two of $4,549. This also eliminates that payment for this month because he satisfied it when he put the $10,000 in there. Now he has to pay his expenses again for month six, but since he did the $10,000 transfer into personal loan number two, his expenses have come down to $3,477, bringing his balance up to $13,477. We're going to add $49 in interest that was charged off of this $5,310 balance, bringing him to a balance of $13,526. Month seven, his income is going to go in, bringing his balance back down to $8,126. He's going to pay his expenses again and we'll add the interest in. Notice it's higher here because he had a higher balance. So I just took it off of the high. It will not be that high due to they will do an average daily balance. His income in month eight is going to go in at 5,400, bringing his balance down to $6,327. He put $2,300 more dollars onto personal loan number two, bringing that balance down to $2,249. His expenses, of course, would come out through the month, as would his interest. He's back up to $12,212. Then in month nine, his income goes in again, bringing him back down to $6,812. Month nine, he's going to pay off personal loan number two, bringing him back up to $9,061. His expenses and interest will come out again, bringing him back up to $12,650. In month 10, his income will go in again, bringing him back down to $7,250. His expenses and interest are going to come out again throughout the month, bringing him back up to $10,843. In month 11, his income goes in again, bringing him back down to $5,443. We're going to add in his expenses and his interest, bringing him back up to $9,020. And then in month 12, his income goes in, bringing him down to $3,620. The expenses and the interest will come back out. He'll do the same thing in month 13. Then his expenses and interest are going to come out, bringing him to $5,323. In month 14, his income goes in, wipes out this HELOC again, bringing him to a zero balance. 
Now, I am going to pull out my own mistake here because we should have included in the expenses right here one more payment for that $334 that would have been on that personal loan number two. I missed it. I caught it when I was going through the scenario here. So he would have to come in and pick that amount up as well. With all of that being said, the $26,161 that he acquired with opening this business to run this shop to make some more money for himself and his family is going to be paid off around 14 months. And he's only paid $1,057 of interest in that 14 months. And remember, that's high. But regardless, he has all of the business that paid off, but now he can relax and get some more things that he needs. And all of the extra income that he makes off of that business can now go into his pocket instead of paying for things. We know how it is, things pop up, we have to buy things, right? And when you are running a business, there are business expenses. Velocity banking does work for businesses as well. It can be a game changer for you in your personal finances or in your business finances. Don't get discouraged. Just get you a line of credit and start working. $26,000 seemed like a lot that was hanging over his head for this business expense, but he wiped it out within 14 months and he is breathing much easier today. And I am very happy for him. I am very happy for all of you guys that are letting me know how you're doing with Velocity Banking. Keep it up. Keep those testimonies coming. I love to hear them. It encourages me as well. I have people talk to me all the time about working with Alex, using one of your business ideas that you already have, helping you to promote it and get it up and running. If you have acquired debt for something that you are working with Alex on, you can work this off in the same strategy that we did for the shop owner. Don't get discouraged. Just pick up a line of credit and start working that debt off and it can get gone very, very quickly. These personal loans were for five years. He worked them both off in 14 months. I'm sorry, but that's pretty exciting even for me. I appreciate you guys joining me today. I hope you guys have a great week and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.